I'll take you guys to a really, really special place. Very special, actually. This is the place that I did the first video for Miss Baby Soda China one year ago. So, this place is the mark of the beginning of Miss Baby Soda Channel, of everything that happens in my life after the channel. So, I'm really, I'm very happy to bring you guys here again one year later. And this place is special because it was the first video of the channel, the Miss Baby Soda Channel. It wasn't my first time on YouTube. I already did some videos with my friend on YouTube. I started with him. But with Miss Baby Soda Channel, it was here. So, Combo Inges is the... How can I say? I don't know. I forgot how to say in English. But in Brazil, we call Sed <laughs> of Miss Baby Soda. And, well, today the weather is not good like the first video one year ago. It looks like it's gonna rain. I hope it doesn't. And I'm gonna show you guys the neighborhood because last time I did a video on the kiosk and beach, but I didn't show you guys the neighborhoods, the houses around. I got an Uber to come here and Uber left me here. So I'm gonna turn the camera and let's enjoy this day with me. So guys, this is the weather. It's windy. And, well, wait. This is the street that the Uber left me. We have some apartments here. I'm not sure if they are available on Airbnb because this area is like, it's not tourist. So I'm not sure if you can rent this apartment. I don't think so. It's like residential for Brazilians or foreigners, whatever, but that live in Brazil, not like for, they don't rent for like weeks or days. It's just like annual or whatever. I don't know. So I walk down the street. You already can see the beach from here. This side has a lot of houses all over the street. And we have this kiosk here. I saw this kiosk yesterday on TikTok. So maybe today we're gonna sit here to eat because I didn't have lunch and I'm starving. <laughs> but yeah, let's see if it's like real good, really good. We are at Camboinhas Beach and as you guys can see, houses, more houses. It's a really nice area to live, like it's safe, but the houses are not too cheap. Or I can see, you, you guys can see that thing right there, I say that is available for rent. And yeah, they probably cost something like a thousand dollars. Maybe, maybe a little bit more, 1050, something like this. It's really, really cute. The street is small and it goes like two. And every, and on the whole street, we have different kioskis. So it's really, really cool. And this is the ocean. Today it doesn't look too good, it's kind of dangerous. So, definitely not swimming today. Okay, nice. Okay, Praia de Camboinhas Beach belongs to the protection, the area that is protected. Um, I don't know. <laughs> so, keep it clean. You put your trash on the trash can. Can. Trash can. Yeah, I forgot. I'm sorry. And guys, look how big are the waves. Waves. This is crazy. Now let's go walk for a little bit to go to the to go to the beach. I, I like to stay more on that side because I can get a good view. We can see Rio from here. I think you guys can't see it because it's cloudy, but we can see Rio. We can see Sugar Loaf, um, to Brothers Mountains here, and oh my God! <laughs> now let's go. That's the view. I'm, I'm still walking and it's still having the street like this and this is the view the weather is not good but still nice even when it's clouded it's nice because this is real <laughs> I love this place 
I'm not sure if you guys can see, but we have a good walk there. It's a good way of walking. <laughs> and there's some people doing exercise here too. You know something that I realized? I'm gonna turn the camera and talk about with you guys looking into your eyes. I realized that in wealthy areas like here or Rio, people do a lot of activities, exercise, and of course, people that live here have a good situation, talking about money, for example, and they have more quality of life and free time to do exercise. But, like, I, I, I came from the, another reality, different from here, and sometimes it, so, it makes me feel like impressed and every time that I see how like how different is life here and life in other areas in poor areas in Rio for example like people here have time and money to take care of themselves so we always see people running and doing stuff because of quality of life of course and it's cool. I hope I can move here soon. It's really nice and have nice apartments here too. Apartments everywhere. Everywhere. All over the the way. Another kiosk. Let's go. I love the coconut trees. How you guys call this in English? We say in Portuguese coqueiro because in Portuguese coconut is coco. So coconut, coco, the tree coqueiro. Apartments, apartments, apartments. And they are all small. They're not like in Rio that has big ass buildings. They are all small to keep the view. You, we can see the sky more clearly. And some kiosks are closed. I, I'm not sure about how, how they work. Like if they open just a few days during the week or just weekend. For example, the first one that we saw when we arrived at the beach, I think it's open almost every day. But this one, for example, is closed. The view is still being really nice. And we're, we're close to the end of this road and we're going to the bad road. And let's go to the first place that we went for a video. <laughs> I want to take you guys there, just for a quick view. And we're going back to the place that I show you guys at the beginning because I want to know a new place. Cute apartments with amazing view. The only thing bad about here, I think Brazil in general is. I forgot the, how you guys call this, but the electricity lines. I forgot how to say. Birds. So this is the end of the road, and there's a buildings here, big ones, but not in front of the beach. The buildings in front of the beach are like two floors actually and the rooftop but there there's more houses and condos there and from now on it's only a green trees and stuff and yeah there's a big deal here too ocean in that's the name oh there's a brazilian soccer teams Flags, Flamengo, Fluminense, and Botafogo. Let's go. Well, this is like this is funny because they probably pay a lot of high taxes for houses and like fees in general in Brazil, or fees are really high. So, and this is a wealthy area, so 
doesn't make any sense. Let's just keep looking like this. But look, from now on, just this. There's a lake there. Another kiosk, kiosk da Tia Lucia. I think this one is famous. It's famous. I've heard about it before. But we are going to the first place that we went for the first video. Because it's not exactly one year goes right now. It's probably a little bit more. I think I started on the channel in March, actually. No. No, I think it was May. Yeah, this is really cool. Let me turn the camera because the view here is really good. The weather is not, you know, the best weather ever. But it's so beautiful. So beautiful. I love this place. I don't come here often, actually. But this place is really, really cool and special for me. And you guys already know the reason. And like, the sound of the ocean is, is different, you know? Be being by the ocean, hearing the ocean is amazing. Oh, guys, the restaurant is closed. Closed? Closed. <laughs> but... Yeah, let's go to the new one instead. It's good, maybe it's a sign out to meet a new place and show you guys a different place. So we are, we, we are at the restaurant from the beginning that I show you guys. And it's really, really nice. The view, the whole place. It's really nice. I like it. lemonade <laughs> let's see if it's good cheers celebrate one year of the channel <laughs> you guys already had lunch but I forgot to record I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna let a picture here I got fish with shrimps and potatoes it was delicious it was really good and now I have my dessert that I'm gonna show you guys and it's really good it's getting late now they are almost closing so I'm gonna finish the video here showing guys the dessert and yeah, I recommend it. It's really nice, the place, the environment, the food, it's really good. Caipirinha also, perfect. And let me show you guys the dessert. This is dessert. It has a signature, signature of Master Chef, the TV show you guys know. And this is yogurt, um, passion fruit, and ice cream. So let's see if it's good. <laughs> Guys, this is the best dessert ever. The yogurt with the passion fruit and ice cream. This Perfect. Really delicious. The place is really nice. I love it. And I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.